in the 1989 film Penn and Teller Get Killed, they were driving down the Atlantic City Expressway. Teller was in the back seat on the passenger side. He flipped the coin out the window and it went through the toll booth right here. Obviously, the toll booths have changed. They have new toll taking things, they have easy pass, but this was it. And when we go through, you'll see on the right hand side, there's a billboard. The billboard's generally in the same place. All the trees are in the same area. This is the exit where Teller threw that coin, threw it right over the car, right here. And then they drove this way and continued on to Atlantic City. Hi, I'm Guy Hutchinson. This is Pointless Nostalgia. There's the showboat, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the showboat casino as we talk about the filming locations from Penn and Teller Get Killed. This movie's a bit convoluted, lots of twists and turns. Maybe you haven't seen it for a while, so I'm gonna to try to go to the locations in order so that you can really get your wrap your mind around it and so everything kind of makes sense for you uh the first scene in the movie starts out inside the showboat casino it's not billed as such they're supposed to be at a talk show in new york but i have a friend who worked uh making neon uh lights at the time and my buddy dave worked on this picture just making neon lights so he didn't actually they just hired his company uh, that he worked for to make the neon lights. Uh, there was one that he made for another part of the film, but most of them were for the set of the talk show, which was built inside a ballroom at the Showboat Casino. So the original scene starts out here. They then go to the airport. Now I asked Penn, where was that airport? You know, was, I don't think it was the Atlantic City Airport. There are signs all over it that say Vector Air. There is also uh, um, signage on the pay phones that say New York Bell, but those could be fake. I know Vector Air is fake. Uh, so I don't know where they shot it. I asked Penn and you can see he said he didn't know. He said he doesn't remember. Uh, I couldn't figure it out, but it, it's not, I didn't go. It's not the it's in Atlantic City Airport. So we're not gonna go to the airport, but that's where Teller keeps pranking Penn by rolling a metal ball or putting it in his pocket as he goes through the metal detector and then Penn, in turn, pranks Teller by putting thumb cuffs on him and giving him a toy gun so he doesn't get to fly on the plane. Then he arrives here in Atlantic City and the movie starts. So we're gonna go to the first big location. We'll try to go to these all in order. Hope you join me for it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, there's the showboat. So here in Atlantic City, Penn and Teller get killed. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. All right. Behind me was where Trump Plaza was. Trump Plaza was over here, but this also was part of Trump Plaza. This was the parking garage, and this is actually the stuff you see the most in the movie. So I'm gonna show you. Luckily, it's still here. I don't think it's here for very long. It's actually all boarded up. We'll take a look at it. But you see all of this in the building and the sign, which we'll get closer to, is behind these trees that said Penn and Teller were appearing, and then they went inside. So we're gonna take a look here. When they first arrived, to Atlantic City, these trees, if they were here, they were much, much shorter. And this sign, we're gonna get right underneath it to see it. This sign said, Trump Plaza appearing now, Penn and Teller. And you can see now it just says Self Park. May not have been a sign that was normally used, but that would have been right here. And then look over here, this is Boardwalk Hall, by the way. This is where uh, WrestleMania 4 and WrestleMania 5 were. This is where they do uh, Miss America. But yeah, this was the entrance to the parking structure. And so they would have walked up around here when they first got here. So once they were inside, uh, they had their show where now he's untying his left hand. His right hand is now free. And the people are all looking around because Teller's tied to the table and he's not free of anything. And then finally the drills drop and Teller is killed on stage. And Penn's like, what happened? Well, why did you say something? <laughs> you know. And then the guy's like, he didn't really get out of anything. And then he's like, well, this was my partner Teller. So that all happened in Trump Plaza which is now an empty lot across the street here. Here we are, we've made it to the ocean. This is where Carlotta gets kidnapped. This is where Penn and Teller had their whole table set up. I'll show you, I'll show you the stuff you can match up. It's pretty neat. So here they are. I want you to pay attention to these buildings in the background. You'll see the one that kind of slopes down. You'll see the one that looks like a flight of stairs. 
and that's all right here. You should be able to make out those buildings right there. And when they establish the shot, they show this, which was the shops at Boardwalk One. I don't know what they call it now, or Ocean One shops, uh, but they show this in the background. So you see this, and you see that they were set up right about here. And so they had criticized psychic surgery on television as well as Penn asking for somebody to kill him. But they were sitting here, they were rehearsing a sequence for David Letterman's show, Teller. They were like, oh, you can still see your lip here where you put the Drano, but you have the plastic bag or whatever in your lip. They put some Drano on the chicken to show that it'll burn right through it. And she said, you know, they're like, say something funny that Dave would say. Uh, and then she gets kidnapped. And you see in the background here, this, uh, this building, you can barely see it here. It's right on the other side of this green. I'm gonna walk up close to it. You can see it though there much better. It looks almost like a Roman uh, or Greek building. I'll show you what it looks like. So yeah, there's Carlotta getting kidnapped. And you can only see the tops of them now. The sand and everything has changed. You can see them completely on the other side or if we climbed up over that mountain. I'll tell you, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but it would have been right over in this area. She would have gotten kidnapped. Now the kidnapping ends up taking them to a scene where Penn and Teller are tied down. Carlotta's nowhere to be found. Uh, and then the surgeon turns out to be Carlotta's uncle Ernesto. Teller's in on the gag. The whole thing is a big gag to, to prank Penn. Uh, and so that happens and that wraps up that part of the storyline. But the pranks are still coming. Let's go to the next spot. Oh, oh, God. We trying to do stick your finger in to see how deep it is. Uh, hey, hey, you want to help? The shot came from up there. Go get the bad guy. I'll stay here cowering and screaming. So the billboard would have been right up in this area, and Penn would have been right here, and he would have gotten shot. And then the people would have come out of here. You see right into here when they show the reverse angle and the lady comes out and she says, hey, aren't you the guy who said on TV you wanted somebody to shoot you? I would have shot you myself. That all happened right over in this parking lot right here. And so the billboard would have been up here, would have said Trump Plaza and Penn and Teller and the shooter would have shot Penn from right up here. Teller would have ran all along the metal fence here, which you'll see trying to trying to get to the guy they actually had a different larger fence teller would have ran across the street there along in front of all those houses and then he would have gone up here and i'm going to show you very specifically where Penn pulled his car out his station wagon and they came almost uh almost hit the bad guy station wagon, that would have been right here. You can match up these manhole covers and that would have been right in this area right here. That would have been pulling right out of this. Pulling right out onto the street and you can see the two cars and that would have been right out here. You can see this island. There was actually like a closed in area here. So this was slightly different then, but that would have all happened right here, right in front of the Trump Plaza parking garage. Teller would have then chased the guy and he would have actually ran right up along here, up onto where the boardwalk is, but they actually have a cut where then they switch to a different spot. So we will switch to that spot as well. And we'll enter the beach from the other area. But this is where he headed up that way after Penn was shot right over in this parking lot. So there's all new buildings here, but Teller would have come up somewhere around here. And the reason why is because you see in the background the shops at Ocean One, which are right there. It's what we also saw when we were down on the beach. And so you see that in the background. So he was somewhere in this area. And then they get on the whole rickshaw chase with him and the other they're bad guy and they're right along this area here uh, but again the beach scene they did was just right on the other side right over there so this would have been where trump plaza was and so 
And by the way, Arthur Treacher's used to be there. Uh, so the shops would have been here, which I don't think, I don't think Teller came up this way. I do think it was down there, but I want to show you this just in case I got it wrong. You can see this was all part of Trump Plaza as well. This building, I believe here, just this part. But the main Trump Plaza was here, but there you can see the parking garage. And that's where the shooting sequence happened. In addition to the performance scene where they performed at Trump Plaza, which would have been here, uh, there's also a scene where they get everybody to throw money. And I'll, uh, I'll tell you about that. Right now, I flashed to inside of another casino, so I can explain it in front of a slot. Machine. Now, since Trump Plaza is demolished, I can't show you where Penn and Teller were in the casino, but there is a scene in the movie, you probably remember, where they're both gambling, and they're pretending not to know each other, and there's a guy gambling near them, and Teller is throwing coins into the guy's, into the guy's machine, and the guy keeps looking at him, annoyed, and Penn's like, you gonna take that? And he's like, no. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't deck the guy for giving me money. And he's like, I would. The pen goes, it's just another example of the proletariat uh, throwing trinkets to the masses. And so then Penn starts throwing coins at Teller. That guy starts throwing coins. And then the whole casino was having a big coin fight. Uh, but that wasn't here. That would have been right across the street from Trump Plaza in the actual Trump Plaza building, right across the street from the area of Trump Plaza where Penn is shot. This is where the Dunes Motel was. The black and white sequence was all right here. You can't tell right now, but I'll show you. This was very hard to match up, but the whole sequence where they were in the Dunes Motel, which was an old uh, concrete walled motel, and it was located right on this corner. So here's a, here's a still from the movie. You can see where it says Dunes Motel, and then here you can see this bridge that would walk over from the parking garage which this was the Tropicana parking garage and it's still there we just can't see it from where we're standing but we can see where that bridge is and once we get to the other side of the building we will be able to see this parking garage and I'll show you exactly where that was but they were located right in this area this uh I guess relief is what they call this type of art is right out in front of the Tropicana and you can see this cart uh, in the movie, Teller and the fake pen both cruise around in a somewhat similar car, not pushed by an old guy with a mustache, I don't think, but something like that. So we're inside now. We were standing right over there. And so now we're inside. And so this, right here, this part of the Tropicana, all here, this would have been all where the Dunes Motel was and all those concrete motel rooms and so the whole section where pens all in black and white kind of like the floor here where everything's in black and white and it's all of a sudden like a film noir thing and pen is writing in his notepad while eating cocoa puffs and calling teller fats because he doesn't want anybody to know his real name that whole sequence all takes place here somewhere in a room that was right in this area. And Teller is practicing his ninja moves and getting ready until the officer shows up and Teller tries to attack her and does not do well. I'm gonna go around the corner, we'll take a look at the casino. Technically above where the Dunes Motel would be because I think it was only a one-story motel. But yeah, they would have been right around somewhere below us. Look at these. They're like little jellyfish made out of glass. <laughs> the Tropicana existed when Penn and Teller got killed was made, but it expanded since then. So all of this is new which is why the Dunes Motel was still there. But yeah, the bridge that you see in the background that people would walk across would have been right here. And we're gonna look at the backside where we can match up the parking garage. So the Dunes Motel would have been straight up this way. On Google Street View, if you look down, you can match up the side of the parking structure. I walked all around here trying to match it up. 
you can't match it up on foot we're just not high enough but if you go on the uh overhead not the street view if you go on the google earth you can match up the corner of the building the notch that's in it right there but anyway would have been right in this area they would have had that whole scene right here let's go to the next place all right the next stop we can't actually get into it because it's in an alley on the other side of this church that's closed but i want to show you the church windows are the same ones so it's right on the other side of here this is where they were walking with the officer right after they were in the uh, black and white scene in the Dunes Motel. And so right on the other side of the church, they were in the alley, the car came along, almost smashes right into them, right here. And here's the back of the church. You can see this addition. And if you look, there is a courtyard that's open there. If you look on Google Street Views, and that's where this scene would have happened. So the church is here, would have been right up in there. Uh, I don't know. I think all these buildings are just as old. I think it's just they had access to an area that I don't have access to, but it would have been right in there. And you can see the windows on the building. They look exactly the same on this side. So that scene would have happened right here. Over here is the Hard Rock hotel this used to be the Trump Taj Mahal it's now the Hard Rock they kind of redid it and it's right over here right across from there you can see those church windows I think it's a Presbyterian church but it's, uh, it's right here right in the middle of Atlantic City just a couple blocks away from where Penn and Teller got killed there's resorts the oldest casino in Atlantic City first place that they had legalized gambling. So after the scene at the church where they almost get hit by a car, the officer takes Penn and Teller to Barnegat, which is a nearby town. We're not gonna go to Barnegat because most of it takes place on her houseboat, which obviously isn't there anymore. Uh, so you can't really match a lot of it up, but all the stuff in Barnegat happens Teller leaves and he comes back to this area because Penn wants to be alone with the officer. Uh, and so that all happens right in the scene after this. Here's the front of the church and this is the entrance to that alley I talked about. You can see they're tearing down this old building right here. This is what I noticed with a lot of, a lot of these locations I'm looking at some things that are gone and Penn wanted Teller gone so he could be with the pretty cop so Teller leaves he goes over here which was then a building looked like a theater they dressed it up like a theater for the movie said there was a Shemp marathon going on and so Teller goes to the Shemp marathon at a theater that would have been in this parking lot here uh, it actually was a historic jazz venue uh, that was called the Harlem Club. It also was called Clifton's. So if you look in the movie, the marquee says Clifton's right across it. And that would have been right here. Famous, famous people played here. Uh, Slappy White, I saw one thing, a big sign that Slappy White was performing there, but it was a jazz club, also other black entertainers. It was called the Harlem Club. It was right here on Kentucky Avenue, which of course, if you play Monopoly, you're recognizing probably some of these streets. We were on Virginia Avenue, now we're on Kentucky Avenue. But Teller would have gone there, and then he would have walked down here. These shops all are different. It's all new stuff. But he would have walked down here and gone to the pawn shop. I mentioned to you that I had a friend named Dave who worked on Neon. And Dave said that they made the sign that said pawn shop. It really was a pawn shop. It really was on Kentucky Avenue. Pretty easy to tell. Teller actually says it in the movie. Later in the movie, when they're in the apartment, he goes, it's the, you know, you switch the bullet out. It's the gun I bought on Kentucky Avenue. And that was right here. Uh, they made a sign that said pawn shop because for the movie, even though it was a pawn shop, it didn't have a bright neon sign that stood out at night. So that would be where Teller bought the gun and then took the gun out to the boardwalk. Those guys came up to him and robbed him and he went bang, bang with his finger. And that's all, all happened after this scene. So this was all right here. I'm gonna just show you what it would have looked like, but there's nothing to match up anymore, but this is the exact location. They're digging away there. All the memories of people that lived there, all gone, but now something new will be built. You can see Bally's is behind me. Uh, so we're going to the next stop, the last stop, which is where Penn and Teller get killed. So Teller's now got the gun. They are going to the apartment where the bad guy is, and let's go there ourselves. 
So Penn and Teller go to the villain's apartment, which was right here. And so much has changed. Do you see Teller riding a bike by a building that was right there where that parking lot is? Now, it was right in this spot. Now you can tell because you can see this building clearly in the shot. I'll show you here. See this building here? That's that one. And this building over here is this building. And so it was right along here. And they go over to the building. They watch the video. Penn says, gee, why can't we hire this guy? This guy's great. And that was all right here in this building. Then they get out, they go over here, which was then Gordon's Alley. In 1973, this opened as a uh, pedestrian mall called Gordon's Alley. It said Gordon's Alley right across the top there. And you can see that in Penn and Teller Get Killed. This spot right over here is where Teller picks up a pigeon, just snatches it out of the air. Uh, and then over here, Penn was sitting by the car and Penn got stabbed right here. And you can see that building in the background as he gets in the cab. Yeah, there it is. That building's still here. It's been here since uh, before the movie and it's still going. So yeah, it was right here where Penn gets stabbed uh, and he's got to go to the hospital. He gets in the cab right here and Teller runs off after the bad guy. So this is the Atlanta Care Regional Medical Center. In the movie, it was just called the Atlantic City Medical Center, but this is the same building where Penn went after he was stabbed, and we'll match the shot up right up ahead. So it was right here where Teller drops off Penn at the hospital, and as soon as Teller is out of his uh, peripheral vision, Penn goes and walks in with the knife sticking out of him, and that's the first point you, as a viewer, think, What's going on here? Something's not right. And that was right over here. I'll show you the shot. So there they are. And that was right here. It was right here. You can see they've redone it. They now just have a couple doors here, but Penn Gillette would have stood here and whistled as he walked right into the hospital right here. Teller then took off and you can see in the background, this, uh, this is Bally. This is their parking structure. You see this as Teller runs off chasing after the bad guy. So at the end of the movie, they come back here. Teller gets tied up here in the building, which would have been here. And Teller is tied up. Teller accidentally shoots Penn. And then Carlotta reveals herself. She was the detective and Teller shoots himself while he's hanging upside down. Uh, so he is dead, Penn is dead, Carlotta jumps out the window, and then the guy who was playing the bad guy for Penn, the guy that was doing the prank, he comes in and he's like, oh no, everything in here is, is designed to implicate me. This is all made to look like I'm a nut who's obsessed with Penn. He's, so he kills himself. And then his friend, who was just along for the ride, looks and goes, I don't even know these people. That was right here, right here. He kills himself. The officer comes in, the old officer with the young officer. The young officer is like, I can't do it. I can't tolerate it. He shoots himself. The old officer is like, ah, my kids don't even care about me. He shoots himself. And I started a joke plays as the camera pans up and Penn says, Oh yeah, we're dead. And it couldn't be a gag, it couldn't be a joke. We couldn't have one of the characters wake up from a bad dream. You'd hate us for that. Besides, the name of the movie is Penn and Teller Get Killed. So we were married to that ending from the beginning. The actual apartment would have been on the top floor of the second section here. So if you picture this building, which still exists, and then you picture another building exactly the same size, and then another one, because this other building was much bigger. Teller would have been right up to the second floor right there. And so that's where it would have been as they panned up into the clouds right here. So this would have been where that building was right here. This is now a liquor store, but it would have been here. And so standing in this pile of rubbish, if you went straight up above me, 
This is where Penn and Teller got killed. Right here, where I'm standing and then up way high. So, from the spot where Penn and Teller got killed, man, this was a lot of fun. I uh, hope you enjoyed this fun movie, one of my favorites. I uh, really like those guys, especially in that era. Right now, a box is gonna pop up here, right about where Teller died, and a box over here. So Penn and Teller, uh, we're dead here, and that's where box is, box over here. You can choose either one, I'm in both of them. I'll see you next time.